Hi, welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, session musician. And recently I watched the fantastic performance from Nightwish at Planet Rock Acoustic Sessions of How's the Heart. And I really enjoyed seeing them stripped back and just, well, basically guitar vocal. It was great. And you all told me that I should go and watch the other Planet Rock acoustic session of Nemo and I thought, yes, yes I shall. So here we are to watch a little bit more of the acoustic stuff before we head back to the super rocky stuff. I thought I was going to do another really like built up production reaction next, but I just couldn't help myself. So there you go. We're going to watch this. We're going to do it in one chunk. Uh, the acoustic, the acoustic side of Nightwish and then back to the heavier side. Uh, I literally just undid this knot and it's done it up again. So there you go. Okay, so let's watch. Let's see what's going on with this particular performance of Nemo. Here we go. Instantly you have the tension being built with that one guitar note. Hang on, I'm just taking it back. It's that one. Okay, so what I enjoyed about that is we were sort of mid-level dynamics wise, but there are a few moments where Floor Jansen just pushes it. Um, there was one particular word, let me just find that, that I really enjoyed. This is me for forever, one without that was it, the without. These lines the last and, and we have this kind of to find the push and pull life. here. So having that lovely aspirate vocal, gorgeous, and then introducing the male harmony underneath just together, it's like this lovely combination. My loving heart lost in the dark For hope I'd give my everything My flower withered between the pages mm. Between that vocal turn, really nice. I also want to touch upon the breath control, but let me just take it back. A flower withered between the pages two and three. The one that breath there. Sand forever Another vocal turn. My scenes. Walk the dark path, sleep with angels, call the past for hell. Touch me with. Okay, so there's back to back so many phrases here which require a certain amount of breath. And what I'm really impressed with is that we are not only having each phrase sound absolutely fulfilled breath wise, so there's no kind of point where I'm thinking, oh my goodness, is she gonna make it through? All fine, all really well prepared. And also on top of that, we're getting these quick intake breaths. So you have to make sure you take enough breath in to get yourself through the next phrase, especially when it's cumulative like this. And Flora is doing just such an amazing job of making sure, this is where this kind of prep comes in. And when you know your voice and you know your own uh, abilities with your lung capacity, and it to me, it just shows how much she's performed and the professional level of, of breath, control ability that she's put on display here. Yeah, it's just testament to the amount of times she's put this into practice. Okay, take it back slightly. Oh, 
love that the layering within the vocals having that ooh, 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 underneath our hang on let me turn this on such a lovely moment again of a slight build of tension just hanging on like having drone notes within a song is such a great way of building tension Nightwish are fantastic at this yeah so good such a simple melody addition Aspirate tone. Wow. to add in that vocal layer again it's so clever just arrangement wise how we've introduced all these different things that have come to this point in the song where we're just adding them all on top of each other you know it's like um well it is a hook in, in the sense that you start to get to know all the different motifs as the song goes on and then yeah it's just hook upon hook upon hook layered together and when you've only got three things going on here male vocal female vocal and guitar there's a finite number of things you can do, but what I'm enjoying is that they've layered together some really nice hooks just with these three things they have at their fingertips. So obviously we've got the lead vocal melody, but then this R vocal underneath and what the guitar is doing. But on top of that, the dynamic changes. It's like it hits home, all of these hooks happening at once. once Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, are they going to do like the ultimate suspension thing? You know, just leave us in that suspense and, and, and not resolve it. But no, they resolved. <laughs> they nearly had me though. They nearly had me. Really enjoyed that. I feel like it was a, a great arrangement. And as I say, so many hooky things kind of building towards that part at the end where it all just sort of came together as one big dynamic thing and yeah it was great another really good acoustic session from Nightwish let me know your thoughts in the comments box down below Are you enjoying these acoustic things we're watching uh what really heavy built up song should I watch now <laughs> that's the question I've done the acoustic thing for a sec now now we need to get back to the super heavy stuff uh, and uh, remind me of, of what <laughs> I first kind of got taken with by them. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. You can of course find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield and all the links to my various services that help support this channel are in the description box down below. Yeah, okay, I will see you very soon. Have a great rest of your day, bye bye.